Hey, what is going on guys? It's Carlos here and it's finally time to upgrade my MacBook Pro to a solid state drive. My MacBook Pro has been sitting on a 120 gigabyte 5400 RPM hard drive and it just feels so slow when opening apps and booting up. Now my MacBook Pro is the mid 09 model. Yeah, I know it's pretty old, but I want to squeeze as much life as possible from it until the 2014 Retina model comes out. So let's go ahead and onto the surgery. So we're going to need a couple of things before we proceed. A thumb drive, a Phillips screwdriver, a Torx screwdriver, and an SSD of course. The one that I'm upgrading to is the Kingston V300 120GB. So now it's time to make a USB install of OS X Mavericks. So we can install the OS on this fresh new shiny SSD. So head over to the app store and begin downloading Mavericks. I know it's a huge file but it's worth it. Then when it's done downloading, plug your USB in and open up a terminal and type this long command. Just copy it from the video description down below or you could just pause the video here because I'll have it in big letters here. From here we're just going to follow the on screen instructions and your USB Mavericks install will be ready. Yes, yeah, that's simple. Now make sure that your MacBook Pro is powered off and flip it upside down. Now on the bottom of the MacBook Pro there's 11 screws so we're gonna need that Phillips screwdriver to remove them. And make sure not to lose any screws cause I always have bad luck losing these screws. I mean they're just so tiny so I keep them inside this little glass container that I picked up at the Swami in Los Angeles. Now once we're done removing the screws let's remove the bottom very carefully now and we can see that slow spinning hard drive so get your Phillips screwdriver again and start removing that small black bracket and then proceed to the more lower bottom and remove the other two remaining screws. Now take out your hard drive and gently remove the SATA connector from it. Now on the hard drive there will be another four screws that hold the hard drive in place. So use this torch screwdriver and take them out and put them to the side because we're going to be using them in just a minute on the SSD. Now get your SSD and start putting those four screws back in. And now we're going to plug in that SATA cable on the SSD and put it back in and start screwing back those screws to hold the SSD in place. So basically we're just going in reverse order now. And thankfully this is a video so this will be sped up so you won't have to see me struggling doing all of this. So now it's time to install Mavericks on this shiny new SSD. So before turning on your MacBook Pro. Plug in that USB Mavericks install and hold down the option key and power up your MacBook Pro. Here we should hopefully see your thumb drive and just click on it and proceed with the install from there. From here it's just pretty straightforward. Just format your SSD and then choose your SSD to install Mavericks and that's it. We're done upgrading the MacBook Pro to a solid state drive. Now I will have a comparison video of the SSD versus the hard drive in boot times and read and write speeds and open up regular applications like Photoshop, Premiere. So yeah, so make sure you guys subscribe so you guys don't miss none of that. And yeah guys, so this was pretty much it. Just me installing a solid state drive on this aging old MacBook Pro. So make sure to hit that like button. Comment down below on if it's worth it to actually upgrade to SSD. I know it is. I know. I'm just being silly. So yeah, make sure to hit that subscribe button to see more videos like this. And I'll catch you guys on the next one. See ya.